Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Laravel e-commerce SEO management plugin. Now this particular plugin helps the admin to improve the SEO of the Bagisto e-commerce store. Using this extension you can also display rich snippets for products and category pages. The admin can even add the content for the Facebook and Twitter and this will help to share the products on Facebook and Twitter as well from the product pages. This plugin is also including the feature that shows the suggestions to improve the SEO of products as well as of the categories there. All in all, this plugin provides various tool options for improving the SEO of your buggy store e-commerce store. So this particular plugin helps uh, to view the product and category SEO meter with suggestions to improve. You can view the Facebook and uh, Twitter snippet preview in product creation form. You can set up to show Facebook and Twitter sharing icons on the product page. Customers can also share any product with their friends and followers as per the requirement there. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin. That's the Laravel e-commerce SEO management plugin at the admin's end. And I'll be showing you the initial configuration settings and how we can view the product and category SEO meter with the suggestions to improve the same. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So the very first thing that I want to do is I want to go to the admin backend panel of Bugisto and enter the email address and the password and tap on the sign in button thereafter. After sign in, we'll be able to see the dashboard as you can see. And to make the initial configuration settings for the Laravel e-commerce SEO management plugin, I uh, will scroll down to the bottom left hand corner on the gear icon. Uh, just below the gear icon, we can see this wrench icon is there. So we need to tap on that. And this would bring up the initial configuration settings uh, for the Yoast SEO. So here you can see that we have the Yoast at the very top and here we have the configurations for uh, as you can see, we have the configurations uh, for the general settings, the products, the Facebook, the Twitter uh, as well. So under the general settings, you will be able to enable this uh, functionality of SEO management for your uh, Bugisto web store by enabling this toggle button. Otherwise, to disable it, you can disable the same as per your own requirement. Then you have to set up the company name here. Alternate URLs have to be added. Enable site link search box has to be enabled or disabled as per your own requirement there. And you have to choose the type as whether it's a website or an organization. Accordingly, you have to choose the option there for the general settings. Then for the products, you will have to create the redirects on delete. So from the drop down, you can choose a 404 page or a CMS page for creating the redirect on the product delete. You can choose the CMS homepage as homepage, privacy policy, about us or customer services as per your own requirement there. Uh, then for the Facebook, you'll be able to add the Facebook app ID and the admin ID and you have to add the Facebook pages as well. So uh, after you have registered your app and you have made your Facebook app live, you'll get the Facebook app ID and similarly you'll get the admin ID as well. And that needs to be entered here within these sections. Then we have the Facebook pages. Here you have to enter the uh, URL of your Facebook page. Then under the Twitter, we have the company Twitter account. So here you have to enter the company Twitter account and the company manage account as well. After making the settings here, you have to tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings and the configuration settings would be saved. Now let's see how we can do the product as how we can check or how we can view the product SEO meter with suggestions to improve the SEO of the products. For that, we'll navigate to the catalog section here on the left hand side panel. And here we have already created a product. For a newly created product or an already created product, you will get the option to view the Yoast SEO meter as well and the suggestions to improve the SEO for the product as well. So right now I've already created a product with the name landscape or the horizon and let's edit it up. After editing the product, we'll find one section with the name there. Uh, that's the SEO or the Yoast uh, as you can see. Under the Yoast, if I tap on Yoast, we'll have two different sections. One is the Yoast meter and the social tabs. Under the Yoast meter, if I tap on the Yoast meter, uh, we'll find the very first option here to set up the focus keyword for the product. 
so here what you need to do is uh, under the meta description you have to set your meta title meta keywords meta description then you have to come to the your section here you have to set the focus keyword for your uh, product then you can see the product SEO level whether it's poor good better best or excellent right now it's showing between the good and better as you can see at 38 percent so if I am going to add more uh, meta keywords here then this uh, would uh, increase to better or best as per the requirement there so here you can see the suggestions as well under the detailed section so meta description length is too short add some more words so here under the meta description we need to add more content so as to improve our SEO there right so we can go ahead and we can enter the content here you can see that from 38 it has risen to 46 now so on and so forth you'll be able to view the suggestion uh, for improving the SEO by making the changes to your meta title meta keywords meta description as well and here you can see that bravo you did it so the meta title length is good the focus keyword is defined uh, good to have the focus keyword defined in the meta title so here you can see that I've used the focus keyword as landscape portrait the landscape portrait uh, has been used in the meta title meta description as well as the meta keywords here as you can see right now then uh, you can see the okay it's fine and can improve you can see that we can add at least five meta keywords here to improve the SEO right now we have only added one meta keyword here uh, we can also consider using long tail keywords as it is preferred for product search and you can uh, you have to up, you have basically uploaded one product image consider uploading more images so if we are uploading more images there then this SEO meter would uh, again rise up as per the requirement there and that's how this particular uh, used uh, SEO section helps to determine the used uh, SEO meter shows the uh, SEO ranking there uh, or the SEO meter there and accordingly we can see the details of how we can improve the SEO meter there and improve the SEO for our product here also we can see the desktop view and the mobile view of our particular product and here is the meta title and this is the meta description so here you can see that this is the meta title and this is the meta description color of nature color of nature is the meta description here and this is the meta title here so here we can see the desktop view of the same with the product URL as you can see and we can see the mobile view as well how it would appear in the mobile view there then we have the social tabs here we can set up the Facebook settings and the Twitter settings which include the Facebook description and the Facebook title along with the Twitter se uh, settings that includes the Twitter description and the Twitter title so this would be used whenever a customer shares the particular product on the Facebook or the Twitter the particular description and the title would be used to share the particular product on the particular social networks as per the requirement there so after that you can tap here on the save product after you have successfully uh, completed the product SEO level uh, to its uh, best uh, setting there and uh, set up the particular SEO functionality or you have done the particular SEO functionality for your product now coming to the categories we can do the same with the categories as well so here we have for example men's category let's edit it up after editing it up uh, here you can see that uh, here we have the description and the images for the uh, particular category and here we have one section with the name SEO optimization so here you have to enter the meta title uh, the meta description and the meta keywords for your particular category there and then we have the same uh, thing here as well that's the Yoast one and here you can see that right now the category SEO level is at 38 percent under the Yoast meter we have set the focus keyword for this particular category as men's category so under the details you can see that the meta title length is too short add some more words meta description length is too short add some more words so meta description and the uh, other one the meta title uh, thing has been uh, very is very uh, like uh, short there so it's a men's category and the and the best and the best one to get your products 
so you can increase the same as per your own requirement and then uh, you can see bravo you did it good you have used the long tail focus keyword focus keyword has been defined focus keyword has been defined in the meta title the focus keyword has been defined in the meta description and uh, focus keyword is one of the meta keywords as well so here we have the men's category here we have used men's category and the title has been also set as men's category there and the same is being reflected here apart from that you can also see some improvements like uh, more improvements like you can add at least five meta keywords uh, to the particular uh, section here under the meta keywords right now we have only added one meta keyword so we can add uh, more keywords as well to increase the uh, SEO level from 38% to the best level here as per the requirement there itself apart from that we can see the desktop view the men's category title meta title this is the meta description here and this is the URL of the product itself this is the desktop view this is the mobile view and the same goes with the social uh, tabs as well for this one as well here we have the Facebook settings and the Twitter settings under the Facebook settings we will set up the Facebook description and the Facebook title under the Twitter settings we will set up the Twitter description and the Twitter title and if this particular category is being shared uh, then the particular uh, thing would be used to display the Facebook uh, description and the title the Twitter description and the title for the particular category there so yes that was much about the laravel e-commerce seo uh, management plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same of how this particular plugin helps to improve the seo of the bagisto e-commerce store and uh, this uh, and the admin basically can even add the content for the facebook and the twitter and this will help to share the products on the facebook and twitter and the plugin also includes the feature that shows the suggestions to improve the seo of the product there so all in all this particular plugin provides various tools and options for improving the SEO of your Bagisto e-commerce store there so if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements regarding the same you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of bagisto.com or you can raise a ticket at bagisto.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.